Hello friends, I welcome you all here at TNV Academy. In this chapter, we will explain you internal audit as per the clause 9.2 of the ISO 14001-2015. The clause 9.2 states that the organization shall conduct internal audit at planned intervals to verify that the environmental management system has been implemented and maintained effectively. Under this, we will also explain the subclause of the clause 9.2, which is briefed as below. Subclause 9.2.1 General. Subclause 9.2.2 Internal Audit Program. Now, let's know what can be reference clause within the standards or the other standards which is useful for this chapter. Clause 3 of the ISO 14001 2015 can be useful reference to understand the meaning internal audit and internal audit program. External reference for the chapter. Under external references, you may refer family standards of the environmental management system, that is ISO 14004-2016, ISO 14005-2019, along with ISO 19011-2018 and ISO 17021-1. These are useful materials to understand this chapter. Now, let's explain you the outcome of the chapter. By understanding this chapter, you will learn how the internal audits are carried out. You will be able to verify the application of the key requirements and principles of the clause 9.2 along with their subclauses 9.2.1 and 9.2.2 of the 14001-2015. Further, you will understand the internal audit program, formal plan of internal audit plan, findings of the internal audit, action plan against the non-conformities if any. Next, you will understand the whole process of internal audit, how it's done, how the findings are recorded, and correction of the same. If you are an auditor, then you will easily verify frequency of internal audit and last internal audit, audit program, plan and intimation of the same, recording of findings as non-conformities and verification of corrections and corrective actions against the non-conformities. Now, let's understand the brief introduction of clause 9.2. The clause 9.2 is an important clause and it addresses on the internal audit of the environmental management system. This clause is further divided into two subclauses 9.2.1 and 9.2.2. Subclause 9.2.1 is titled as general. This subclause states that the organization shall conduct an internal audit at a regular interval of times. The aim of such internal audit is to provide information that environmental management system is working as per the requirements as defined in the EMS policy, complying with the parameters of the ISO 14001-2015, implemented and maintained effectively. Further, subclause 9.2.2 addresses the requirement of the internal audit programs. As per this, the organization shall make an effective internal audit program which shall be conducted at regular frequency. The plan of the internal audit and objectives shall also be established and internal audit shall be conducted in such a manner that the objectives are achieved. This subclause requires that the organization shall define the audit criteria and scope of the audit, select the auditors and audit shall be conducted in such a manner that the objectives are achieved. Findings of the audit shall be recorded as internal audit report and it shall be reported to the management to ensure the effective action against the non-conformities. Maintain the internal audit report as in documented information 
as evidence of implementation of internal audit programs and the findings of the same. Now, let's know the requirement of the clause as explained in standard. Clause 9.2 Internal Audit 9.2.1 General The organization shall conduct internal audits at planned intervals to provide information on whether the environmental management system first confirms to point one the organization's own requirements for its environmental management system point two the requirements of this international standard second is effectively implemented and maintained nine point two point two internal audit program the organization shall establish implement and maintain an internal audit program including the frequency methods responsibilities planning requirements and reporting of its internal audits when establishing the internal audit program the organization shall take into consideration the environmental importance of the processes concerned changes affecting the organization and the results of previous audits the organization shall point 1 define the audit criteria and scope for each audit point 2 select auditors and conduct audits to ensure objectivity and the impartiality of the audit process point 3 ensure that the results of the audits are reported to relevant management the organization shall retain documented information as evidence of the implementation of the audit program and the audit results. Now, let's understand mandatory documents and records to be maintained under this clause. Under this clause, the organization has to maintain following. Internal audit program, clause 9.2. Point 2. Results of internal audits. Clause 9.2. Now, we will explain how to write non-conformity under this clause 9.2. If you understood the requirements of this clause and subclause which must be implemented in an organization, then you can verify the implementation of the same and findings can be raised and will be categorized as non-conformity. You may categorize it as minor or major by analyzing the impacts of findings. To better understand the writing of finding, kindly refer the AFAR sample format through this slide. Now, let's understand common mistakes which auditors do while verifying the documents and records of the organization during audit under this clause. Point 1. No checking of intimation of audit schedule. Point 2. No verification of audit programs. Point 3. Sometimes the auditor start thinking for the option while auditor need to understand the organization process of EMS monitoring, measurement and evaluation. Point 4. Auditors start consulting activities. Point 5. Auditors asking for FSSAI license or any other registration certificates like GST, ROC, etc. which did not require or applicable on the organization. So friends, now we have reached at the end of this session. I sincerely thank you all for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.